is a pattern that's loosely based on the uh, positivity print that I did on Project Runway. But with this one, I really wanted to add a lot of different colors um, just to show individualism. And as you can see, all the pluses are holding hands, so to speak. So it's really about our community. And with that, <laughs> we have something special for now. And to show you that just that, I want to bring to the stage, in true Project Runway style, a fashion show unlike most others. So what makes this different than any other fashion show is that what you'll see is the same fashion, which is Mondo's scarf, um, on the runway, worn in different ways, all left up to the model's own expression. Now, what's more is that you may recognize some of these models because they're more than just models, they're champions. Now, join me in welcoming to our stage the champions from NMAC and Star as they walk the runway and show you all how they bring their individual style to the scarf. Here we go with some music. First up, please welcome Eric Della Torre from Vienna Star. Eric's going with the bow tie, or quite honestly, he could be a present for somebody out there. He's wrapped up. Let's see who the present is. Um, interesting fact about Eric, he completed a marathon once. Good for you, Eric. Come on, let's see some style. I've worked that runway, boy. Come on. There you go. Please welcome Dan Nugent, Senior Policy Manager with NMAC. Dan's going with the headband. Dan is from Wayne, New Jersey, and he once considered being on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Dan's throwing beats, there to go. Little New Orleans right there. All right, Valerie Rochester, NMAC Board of Directors. Go, Valerie, go. Interesting fact about Valerie, she once danced with Gregory Hines. It's pretty cool, Valerie. Come on, work it. Work it, work it. There she goes. Very nice. Now, welcome to the stage, Alex Garner, Program Coordinator of Treatment Education, Adherence, and Mobilization with NMAC. Alex going with the scarf look. Nice. Uh, interesting fact about Alex here, he likes to bake pies and tarts. So if you're hungry for a pie or a tart, Alex is your man. All right, Moises Augusto, Director of Treatment Education, Adherence, Mobilization with NMAC. Moises doesn't run, know how to ride a bicycle. Sorry about that, Moises. Let's see some style, let's see some attitude up there. Oh, that was a quick turn, all right. Evelyn Eula, NMAC Board of Directors. Way to go, NMAC, oh wow. Evelyn's going with the, uh, the Jackie O look, very nice. She's a grandmother, she's 50 pounds lighter, and she is loving it. Let's hear it for Evelyn. Now I'm liking this. Please welcome Tony Diaz from Vienna Star. Tony always wanted to have long locks. So the look that he's chosen to go with today, very nice. He's going with something I like to call chic, chic. Let it flow, Tony, let it flow. Woo, Kyle Murphy, Assistant Director of Communications with NMAC. Now here's an interesting fact about Kyle. He was once on the same swim team as Olympian Ryan Lochte. Come on, Kyle, let's see some hips. You got it. You can work that. All right, welcome Brenda Lynn Hunt, who is also Lumbee Native American. She's on the NMAC Board of Directors. Her dream vacation is hanging out on a beach with her grandchildren wearing her two-piece bathing suit. That's her dream vacation. You're looking good, Brenda. All right, Callie Lindsay, Director of Legislative and Public Affairs with NMAC. He actually is from Atlanta, and he turned down the offer to be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. They approached him, but he turned it down. Callie's going with the uh, belt, or as I like to call it, the quarterback look. Work it, Callie. Joseph Elias. 
Assistant Director of Treatment Education, Adherence, and Mobilization with NMAC. Joseph has 115 first cousins. Very good look, Joseph. All right, welcome Monica Johnson, NMAC Board of Directors. Wow, Monica is working it, nice. Monica's going with the belt look. And in her fun, in her free time, Monica likes to garden. Looking good, Monica. Wave to the crowd. All right, and last, welcome, you may know this man, Mr. Paul Kawada, executive director of NMAC. And he's going with the kilt or skirt look. Paul's, <laughs> Paul's down, we have a Paul down. No help, no love for Paul. Paul's wearing the shiny shoes, and Paul's favorite television show is Sex in the City. All right, welcome back all the NMAC board members, NMAC employees, and members of Vienna Star from today's fashion show. show you guys all look amazing and you really put an individual look on your own scarf. Now don't forget, if you want to meet Dwayne or Mondo, still going to be at the booth later today. You just go out these doors and hang a left, look for the eye design booth, come in and join the, join the dialogue and meet Mondo and Dwayne. And thank you again to each and every one of you for being a part of this plenary. And again, I, I think as Dwayne mentioned, if you're a service provider, please help your clients learn to communicate with their healthcare professionals. And if you're a person living with HIV, I think you saw it demonstrated today, it is such an important part of survival is learning how to communicate effectively. Thank you so much for attending. Oh, wait, 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 On behalf of the National Minority AIDS Council, I really want to thank Merck for putting on this wonderful show and for educating all of us about what we need to do to help people living with HIV. So let's make sure to thank Merck. And as they say, you're only fashion roadkill if you let yourself be roadkill. <laughs> that was just a little interpretive dance. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, everybody.